Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Light Time Travel Mates. My name is Hyegyeong and behind the camera is no one right now, but normally it's Jeremy and together we are the Light Time Travel Mates. And today I'm super excited because we are going to make jajangmyeon. I never thought I would make jajangmyeon here in India, but I really miss the taste of it. In Korea, jajangmyeon is a super easy and convenient food. Whenever you feel like eating jajangmyeon, you can order over the phone or over the application these days and it comes really really quick and it's also really really tasty and here in India I cannot order jajangmyeon so I'm going to make it the main ingredient of making jajangmyeon is the black bean paste in Korean we say chunjang and it's impossible to get chunjang here so we're going to make it from scratch but not completely scratch <laughs> We're going to make the black bean paste with this fermented soybean paste. In Korean, we say genjang. Do you remember we made the gochujang, the Korean pepper paste with soybean paste, the miso? If you haven't checked the video yet, uh, please check over here. And also, we use pork to make the jajangmyeon sauce, but we are not going to use any meat today. Instead, we're going to use the soya chunks just to get the texture of the little bit like crispy and meaty texture on the jajangmyeon sauce. We're going to use these uh, soya chunks. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So let's make black bean paste. First of all, we need to caramel or uh, caramelize the sugar. Alright, so while cooling down the caramelized sugar, we need water, all purpose flour, salt, soy sauce. In the recipe, they say I need a molasses, but I couldn't find it in the supermarket. So we're going to use jaggery. I broke it a little bit so I can easily use it. We're going to use dark miso paste. Wow, look at the color. It's like, I don't know, it's like caramel, chocolate or something. It's going to be really, really sweet. And we're going to add denja, the soybean paste here. Uh, you need to use the dark color, the dark miso. Oh, this is too big. Okay, the smaller one. Okay, so I'm gonna give a teaspoon of this. Okay, so now we are adding the cool down caramelized sugar in it. Wow, it's so smooth and the color is quite dark the original jajangmyeon sauce color i think it's because the miso we use is really dark color i really like it but still it's kind of watery so we're gonna thicken it on the pan <laughs> Wow, it cooked really fast. And then uh, look at the color of it. It's it's so dark. And it smells, oh my god, it smells legit. Really, really. Oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah, I think it's quite ready. Yay, we made the black bean paste. Yay! Look at this beautiful black bean paste. Oh my god, it smells so good. I mean, I smell very much like the soybean paste and it looks pretty nice. All right, so now let's prepare some vegetables that we're going to put in the jajangmyeon. Okay, so these are all the vegetables that we need for jajangmyeon. First of all, I soak three uh, shiitake mushrooms and wait for one hour. And soya chunks, the same, I soak in water and wait for one hour. And then we need zucchini. Carrot and uh, cucumber for garnish later and chopped garlic, onion and another like button mushrooms and green onion. 
Generally in Korea, we don't, you don't really use these much vegetables. They use onions for sure, but why not? Let's give it a try. All right, so the steaky mushroom is ready. So we're gonna squeeze this. Remove the water. And then we're gonna keep steaky mushroom water uh, for jajangmyeon sauce. Oh, this shiitake mushroom smells really, really nice. I love shiitake mushrooms. Look at this beautiful vegetable, guys. Okay, so now let's stir fry the vegetables. It already smells so good. Nice. I think I need some more oil. I definitely need a bigger pan. It's so colorful and it's so beautiful. Nice. Oh, it smells amazing. Now we can put the black bean paste here, all of them. And then the shiitake mushroom water. Oh my god, the, the texture is even like perfect. Nice. We're gonna add three more of water. It's like the one I had in Korea. This time, I'm not gonna taste it before Jordi tried it. I don't know, it's, it's going to be a bit like a surprise for me as well. We'll see. Alright, so let's make the noodles. I wanted to find the udon noodle, but I couldn't find it in the supermarket. So instead, I got this veggie hakka noodle. I really like hakka noodles and then texture of it. Actually, you can use any different kinds of noodles, like even pasta noodles, based on what I saw. But I'm gonna try this veggie hakka noodles. This one package is for one person. Okay, I'm gonna put two just in case, so someone eats a lot. It's a lot. I think I should have put just one. Oh. Ah. Okay, look at this. It looks pretty nice. And then it says toss in one teaspoon of oil to prevent from sticking. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's Christmas already or what? Nice. I have to say it smells really good. Three, two, one, let's go. I think I should mix now with all. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You already forgot how to eat jajangmyeon? No, you know why? Because a few days ago we had instant jajangmyeon, which is not the same. But I'm very excited that this one looks so legit. Look at the chance of ingredients. What's in here? It's very legit, I have to say. The noodles are not exactly the same as the typical noodle surf, but these are Hakka noodles, right? Yeah. Okay, may I try it now or...? Yeah, if you want a little bit of hint of spicy flavor, you can add like, chili powder. First. Yeah. This is Kashmiri or...? With... Kashmiri, Kashmiri. <laughs> so don't worry. I'm gonna try first a little bit without any. Okay, moment of truth. Oh man, it smells good. I'm shaking, I'm very excited. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not negative, but it's a bit on the sweet side. I'm being honest here, I feel it a bit not too sweet, but more on the sweet side. There's sugar here, right? Or yeah, something. yeah. 
Maybe at the end, I added like one teaspoon of like a sprinkle of sugar, but I think that was not necessary. It's really good. It's really good. Let's try a little bit of spice, a little bit. Yeah, spice it up. You think it's enough? More and more. That's what I always do every time I eat. The gochujang they put in jajangmyeon is very powdery. This is more like almost like flakes. See? Oh, I'm afraid it's gonna be too spicy. Nah, nah, come no? on. It's gonna be fine because it's already too sweet. No? There is no like damuji, the yellow. No, no, damuji no. Mm. Now. Right? Now we're talking. Oh my god. Shit, I want more. It's like a tasting to me. Like a sampling, you know? Dirty if you want. There are more noodles. I accidentally made a lot of noodles. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, put some noodles. No more sauce? No more sauce, sorry. Uh, kimchi or anything? Oh, you want kimchi? I don't know, since we, we have, no? Look at the color of this. It's been fermented for almost... I think more than a week. Yes, this is perfect with jajangmyeon. Oh, that's the round cabbage kimchi, right? One of our latest right. episodes. We made yeah, it actually, you haven't tried after the fermentation. Try it. It smells very much like kimchi, yeah. Good, very good. I like because it's more crunchy texture than. Oh my god, the chili flakes are spicy here, man. Success! Oh my god. Let's try. Oops. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take Jordi's advice and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of chili powder. Like this. <laughs> Who is excited? <laughs> Who is nervous? <laughs> too much, too much, too much. Relax. It's okay. Kashimiri chili. Spicy. Oh my god, I'm super excited and you guys don't know how hungry I am right now. Making this and preparing everything. Let's try. Oh, the noodle is a bit dry now because I've waited too long. This is the moment that I've been waiting so long. Say, you don't say wow with your own food. You sure don't say wow with your own food. Well, yeah, you're allowed because this is wow. You gotta put the veggies and noodles all together. It's wow, it's nice. But like Jordi said, it's a bit too sweet. But still, it's really, really nice. At the end, I shouldn't have put sugar. Mm. Wow. It's really nice. So good. It's a really good match. Not that I made it, but... It's really good. Mm. All, right. All right, so if you like this episode, please click like and share this video with your friends and family. And if it's your first time, make sure to subscribe to our channel so we can make more videos like this. I gotta continue eating this, so I will see you next time. Annyeong! This is so good. When you eat jajangmyeon, don't wear white clothes because it's gonna mess everything. And then you so that, that means you wear black, you don't mess? <laughs> or what? It's a mess, but not much damage, right? No. And you never eat jajangmyeon on your first date because what's happening around, all around your mouth. On your what? On your first date? Yeah. Your mouth is clean. Oh, try again. Try one spoon. Mm -hmm. Look at this! Tuli, I think you created the clean jajangmyeon Because mm. you don't have any much dirt around or the sauce is not splashy or... Mm. See, it's clean! <laughs>